My name is Mohamed Fahim, just turned pro and from Berry, doing well. Got my first fight coming up June 21st. I've only had 13 amateur fights, which is not a lot to turn pro, but I've uh, fought a few good people. Number one in Europe, six in the world. I fought close fight, but you got the win. <laughs> I didn't really train for the fight because I come off an injury and um, so I trained like I would say about a week and a half for it. I, done, I lost the first round, uh, I thought the uh, second round was close, won the third but he got it because he couldn't win that England best. Uh, I got a few favourite fighters, but the one I like the most is the Toro Gatti because the heart he has. Mike Tyson too. Uh, a few things of Mike Tyson, like uh, not in the ring, outside the ring. His head weren't screwed on, and that uh, he was beating everyone. But when his uh, when his head went, that's when he started losing. So that's why you have to be 100 percent in the fight. Like me, Mayweather. He's got everything, but the thing is, at the same time, people think that he's got everything easy, but he's not. He's worked hard for it, and he deserves it. Like other most fighters do, they work hard for it, and it's not easy to be a fighter and train hard. And it's good, like when the money comes, the fame comes, they deserve it, because it is hard to be a fighter going training everything. It's not a day. It is a daily. It's like a job basically, but it's a lot harder. He's taking beatings and everything, and you're training. Basically, you're suffering, yeah, to be whatever you want to be. Uh, I expect a lot, to be honest. I want to go pretty far in it. I want it to be like, uh, I want to live off it. You get, let boxing feed me and I do in my fights, get good money off it and everything. Look after my family, my friends, and help a lot of people out. Going very well. I got a few good uh, guys helping with my coach Nigel Admin. Because at one point I wasn't going to really box again, but I, I, in the amateurs, and uh, he got hold of me, brought me, and he's never looked after me. Thanks a lot to him. I got uh, Gary. He's looking after me. I got Rick, uh, my sponsor. He's more than a sponsor to me. Looks after me, gives me everything, anything I need. Thanks to him, I got uh, my family supporting me and my friends. So everything's there. I hate circuits, yeah, but I, look, I can spa all day, but I hate circuits. I can do pad work all day. You got sweats on under this and everything. I've lost a lot of weight too. I'm just, uh, I wanted to uh, fight in a feather super featherweight, but I think I'm fighting a lightweight now because right. I've only got a bit left. Danny Randall has uh, done a lot for me and uh, the gym, to be honest. Uh, he's a very busy guy, thanks to him. and. Um, He's doing well for the gym and everything. He's doing well. <laughs> it gets kids off the street, gets uh, people in the gym. Like some people, like who, who are ashamed of going gym. Like uh, it's a, like it's like a, it's a family in this gym. Like everyone trains together. They go out together after fights and everything. And uh, they support us. They support everyone. So it's like a family. Uh, funny, like funny, pull a lot of jokes in sparring and everything. It's gym banter to be honest, like my coach said to me the other day. Like last day the other day I was um I didn't spar that good and um and I was quiet and he goes I don't like you that way. Because he goes I like you when you're funny and that but at the same time when you're funny when it's time to train and it's time to laugh as he said. So that's what I'm slowly getting into because I'm only eighteen and I've turned pro a big step for me. <laughs> Search me, sir, Fahim Mohammed, and um, <clears throat> should be a good night. I want to thank, uh, thank a lot. Uh, I want to thank uh, Rick again for 
because he's helped me out a lot, to be honest. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have turned pro. He's helped me out a lot. Fantastic. He's like, a, he's like a father to me, to be honest. He is, looks after me, he's got a little son, Dio. I do a bit with him now and then. He's only 11, he's just waiting. He's had a few, do you know them, um, what's it called now? Um, uh, skill bouts, oh. where he's just waiting to fight. He's a little animal, him. Crazy. Um, just ball nervous, just because just I've never done it before.